Hi guys, this is TJ with the Backpack Trader. In the last video, I was discussing my idea for how to better manage my tax deferred retirement account, what kind of trading I can do for minimal effort, maximum gain. And I started considering a weekly chart. What's easier than looking at your chart once a week, as long as you have an effective strategy? That way I could place the trade and not even think about it until the following week. Every week you check the trade, you manage the trade. So let's look at this current trade setup that happened on the QQQs. And in full disclaimer, I'm not in this trade, although this is one of the trade plans I'm developing. I am gonna put together a roster of symbols where I could prove the weekly chart makes the kind of profits and money that I need to see for my trade plans. And I'm gonna start implementing this into my own tax deferred accounts. You guys can follow along. So I know what the trade is. I know what the entry is. In the last video, I showed how I would consider an in the money option. And I wanted to just to give you an idea of the power of this idea. In the next video, we're going to go back and look at more trades. But in this particular video, I just wanted to show you this one. Pardon my crude method of drawing. Um, because it has the entry targets, clear stops, and I've, I'm looking at uh, what the option is that I can get the furthest one out, and the one I chose was a January 2024 put option. I want one slightly in the money. So I could easily see that this is right around the 318 and a half price. So I want something slightly above, and the one I chose was a, was a 320 put option. It's a little costly. It was a uh, $36, uh, $37, call it $30, $36.50, okay? Somewhere in there, give or take. You don't have to be perfect. So, you know, it's like $3,600, $3,700 for one put. You want to make sure you have the money in your account to trade something like this. There's other ways to do it. You use vertical spreads, but we're just going to go with the simple put option. And after doing the math, I calculated that this hit its target one on May 20th. Okay, so this got in, I think, on April 24th or whatever the Monday was following this week. And then a few weeks later, it hit its target. And what I calculated was that it would have made $1,600 or so in profit per option. And that would be roughly a 42 to 44% gain on a trade with an option. And then if it hits, it automatically closes out. One of the stops cancels also. And then any additional options I'd leave on to hit bigger targets. Meanwhile, the stop has moved down, cutting the risk to here, and then ultimately moving down to a break even here. So if it does come up and stop out, I'll sell my options back and recover the premium close to break even. If it keeps going, I'll hit a bigger, uh, more profit in my retirement account. Um, again, this is a strategy I'm considering. I haven't started it yet, but I like it. I hope you do too. Look for another video and we'll get, a, we'll get into this in more detail and we'll start looking at other symbols too. I'm going to build a roster. I'm also gonna look at daily charts for, uh, that's another great way to swing trade and only takes a little bit of time and that can be done in a retirement account. And who knows, maybe we'll look at some other interesting time frames as well. But for now, it's all about building that roster of charts, roster of symbols, I should say, each one proven to give me the edge I need so that I am in the most advantageous position. Every time I take a trade, I know that the odds are stacked in my favor that the trade's gonna work. And even those that don't, that's okay because in the end, it's the accumulation of all my trades that grow my account. That's how it is with every trader, you included. It's not one trade, it's not a couple trades, it's all the trades. And so that's why I turn my 12 powers of successful trading and make sure that the number one and number two, all the major powers that I could prove it to myself first before I start throwing money at a trade. All right, hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you on the next one. This is TJ with the Backpack Trader.